In this third lesson, we will see how to simulate the scrolling of a very large map, so big that you need to scroll it more than once. For how we have structured the lesson so far, if we use only a null layer in which to paste the tracking data, we will get a significant problem. Once you've done the first scrolling, since the position of the finger come back, at the same way the map will be brought back in a disturbing and unnatural zigzag. In practice, what we must do is to decouple each sequence so that it is unique and not related to that which follows it or the one before it. Let's say you have scrolled the map three times. Practically, three times we repeated this sequence of operations. We put the finger on the screen of the device, we drag the finger and then we raised it. We will call each of this group of operation interaction or cluster. If we have done the scrolling three times, we have three clusters. How do we decouple each cluster? The solution is simple. You have to paste the tracking data to a new layer, which we call for convenience finger01. At this point, you need to duplicate the layer in order to have as many copies as the number of clusters. If we expand the keyframes, we will get this view. At this point, rename all the new layers so that it has a structure, finger01.x, where x is the number of the interaction. In other words, we will have three null layers, finger01.1, finger01.2, and finger01.3. In practice, with this structure, each level will incorporate both the number of the finger, in our case always one because we use only one finger, and the number of the interaction. Finally, select from the first level, finger 01.1, keyframes for second and third cluster and delete them by pressing the delete key. Select the second null level and the keyframes of the first and third cluster and delete them. Select in the third null level the keyframes for the first and second cluster and delete them. At this point, each null level will contain only the keyframes for the cluster to which it relates. Note also that each cluster has become independent from all others. When the finger ends scrolling, the null layer remains in position without moving more. It is as if we have packed into a single project different composition relating to three projects, each of which has a single scroll. At this point, you have to link together these three levels so that the scrolling is continuous and does not start over. Create a new new layer and name it Scroller. Move to the first frame of the composition and set the parent to new layer you just created to the level finger01.3. Without moving from the position in the timeline of the composition, set the parent level finger01.3 to finger01.2. Finally, set the parent level finger01.2 to finger01.1. At this point, hide the first three levels. We can say that these three levels do not concern us anymore and we can also forget about them because the only level that we will use in our composition is the level scroller. Put in this composition a very big map. And set the parent of this map to the level scroller. If you place this composition in the shot that you made, you will see that the scrolling is continuous and it is responding to commands given in the free user interactions. If the initial position or the final one are not satisfactory, move the level of the map so to match the desired position. 
Since it's a child of the level scroller, this does not affect the scrolling data, but only the appearance. And that's the final composition.